Hey everyone, this is Alex with Empower Detailing, servicing all of the Riverside County. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys the good and the bad from buying detailing equipment from OfferUp. Hey, you bought a couple things from OfferUp? <laughs> yeah. All your things? Not all the things, but quite a few. Can you show us what you bought? Yeah, I'll show you guys. So basically, the generator is from OfferUp. It's the Predator 3500. The air compressor hose drill is from OfferUp as well. And then this vacuum is from OfferUp. Now, why did you choose to go to OfferUp? Uh, basically, the cost is uh, more than half off that you get it from OfferUp. Obviously, they're going to be used and they're going to have some uh, some use to it, but most of the time they've turned out well, well for me. But of course, I mean, I'm sure you've learned from past experiences how to get good deals. Give us some tips, man. Uh, basically, to get a good deal, you just want, kind of want to ask, ask the person that's selling it why they're selling it how long they've had it, and if they've had any issues with it. And uh, kind of off the bat from there, you'll be able to see what's a good deal or, and what's not. And if it's, they say everything is good, once you go out, go check it out. Like for a generator, turn it on for a bit, see how it sounds when it's running, put a load on it, see how it sounds under a load. So you can get an idea of how the, the motor sounds on the generator. Now, what are some red flags when asking those questions and getting those answers? Some red flags would definitely uh, just be like if the, cust if, the cu if the person selling it wants to sell it just because they don't like it anymore. Sometimes they say they don't like it and it looks brand new and you can go test it out and it, it's not going to work properly. Uh, there's stuff missing on it that's, that's essential that you need. Got it. You ever have somebody be like, I don't know bro, kind of sketchy about it? Like maybe they stole the stuff? Uh, no, you actually, you know what? I had, well, yeah, some, I would, yeah, I had some stuff that I bought, some batteries, and this kind of, it would, the guy kind of felt like, if I don't know if it was stolen, I don't know what it was. It was a little bit sketchy doing a business with that guy. You gotta be careful, bro. Yeah, I definitely gotta be careful. So Alex, people who, who want to start detailing business, but, you know, don't really know about buying social media. What's one bad thing about buying equipment from OfferUp? I guess one of the downsides of buying from OfferUp is that you can't add a warranty or you don't know if it's gonna break down the next day or a week or two from now. Just because it is used, at, usually if it's used, they use it for quite some time, for a couple years or so. So you run that risk of having that in the back of your mind thinking it's gonna, it can break down on you. Have you ever bought something and it broken down like right away? So far, no, Ray. So far, no. Everything has been pretty solid. But because you test it, right? Yeah, I test it right then and there. But wait, don't you have people be like, hey, meet me at Jack in the Box at, at midnight. Come alone. <laughs> Only cash. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, no? No? No, something like that has not. Usually, for the most part, I try to see, because uh, on OfferUp, you can see if they have uh, reviews. Mm. So I try to see if they have a, a good amount of five-star reviews. That gives you a good uh, green light. What do you mean? Uh, on the on offer, you can you can rate a seller. So if you buy something for someone, you can rate them. And then usually I try to buy stuff from people that have like more than ten five star reviews. So if they have more than ten five stars, that usually means they're pretty they're pretty solid. You ever have somebody have a review like this guy's a scammer? Yeah. And he sells broken stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it on a on a marketplace because a marketplace you can actually leave a review. So from those, I'll stay away from those sellers. Dang. Yeah, those I'll stay away. Imagine it's like a baby mama all angry. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he doesn't pay his child doesn't support. Pay. <laughs> hey, so when you talk to someone, where do you meet? Usually it's at their house. Okay. Yeah, usually we meet at their house. Uh, and there is sometimes we meet like in a public, like in a shopping center or somewhere. I think it's sometimes they feel comfortable when we at a shopping center. But usually for the most part, I meet at people's houses. Oh, okay, and that's where you test it. Yeah, that's right. Because they have electricity. Yeah, they have electricity. You just hook up. But if I do meet uh, at a shopping center, I always try to roll with my van. I got my generator in the back, so I can just plug it right in, and I'll be able to see if it works or not. Hey, Alex. So, what? So, so, Alex, what platforms do you use to buy the detailing equipment? Basically, I just use OfferUp and uh, Facebook Marketplace. Those are the two. No Craigslist? No, no Craigslist. I'll stay away from Craigslist. <laughs> And uh, when you're buying something, hey man, it's part of the game, lowballing. <laughs> How do you do it, Alex? Honestly, I have this strategy that has worked pretty well for me. If I see a, an item that I want, but I don't need it right then and there, I'll put it to my saved. 
and then I'll go back a few months later or a few weeks later and if they still have it I'll use that as a bargaining chip just because they had it up for so long and usually if it's like a generator or something bulky I know they want that out of their way so I try to give them not too much of a low ball but I'll, I'll give them a low ball offer and usually they'll take it just because they had it up for so long you ever have somebody say like no low balling firm price I know what I have <laughs> Yeah, usually I'll still, I'll, I won't even message those people. Nah, yeah, no, they're gonna get upset. Yeah, I know they'll get upset. I won't even bother wasting both of our times. 